Hello and welcome to another episode of Badass Business Builders. My name is Joella and I am the founder of Badass Business Builders. <laughs> welcome, welcome. So today's subject is how to improve your chances of business survival, maximize profits and thrive. So I've worked with over 100 companies by now and I could tell you more than 80% of these companies were making a crucial mistake which was directly affecting their bottom line. It was actually affecting their ability to survive. Um, and what I found is that this mistake is so critical to the success of your company. Not only is it based on how good you do things, but it provides a framework for you to thrive and maximize profits. And you know what that is? It's a business plan. Yeah, believe it or not, folks, many companies do not have a business plan, and this is a critical mistake. Based on research cam coming out of the University of Oregon, the number one reason why businesses fail is due to lack of business planning. Four out of five of them will not even make it to their fifth birthday. But on the bright side, companies that did have a plan grew 30% faster. So not only does planning improve your chances for success, but it improves the business owner's confidence. And what I found with planning is that it gives the business owner the be a better chance at starting, staying motivated, and staying the course. Now, I could tell you from personal experience, um, my business consulting company is my eighth company not bragging, just saying that not everyone was successful, <laughs> made a lot of mistakes in my day. Um, but what's interesting, now that I look back in hindsight, is that two out of the eight businesses that I started had a business plan. And what is fascinating, just comparing my results to the study out of this University of Oregon, is that these, the companies that I didn't have a business plan, I see now how I floundered, how I was so drawn to other things, how I couldn't really keep the focus and stay the course because I wasn't even sure or confident in the thing that I was doing. Now, fast forward, got a little better with some experience and started developing business plans for clients and myself and what I found is with the business plan, I had greater chances of success. I had way more clarity, motivation, focus. In fact, when challenges would arise, it was like a little blip in the road because I had the plan of action. It didn't stray, it didn't cause me to stray. It had me staying focused, knowing that, you know, this was part of the process. So I ask you, do you have a business plan? And if you don't have a business plan, well, maybe now's the time to consider it. Because four out of five will not make it to their fifth birthday? That's a huge number. That's a huge mistake. So think about what goes into a business plan now. When you prepare a business plan, you are doing like a deep dive, like taking a course in 101 of your business, right? It encourages you to really think about what is the sales strategy? How am I going to market? What are my financial projections? What I love about business plans most importantly is the competitive analysis. And the reason for that is in the competitive analysis, you start to look at companies that could potentially compete with you, of course, but by looking at these companies with that lens, it gives you other ideas. Um, it sparks some creativity. It shows you, hey, what's working and what possibly is not. So the business plan is really like this experience where you're taking a deep dive into this world in which it's in your head, but you're now articulating it on paper. Does that make sense? And with the articulation, with the, the act of writing, clarifying it, taking it from the head to the heart, 
to the computer. You are becoming aligned with what you are looking to accomplish. You are becoming aligned with the business that you are creating. And there's more benefits to a business plan. So not only does it give you clarity and a roadmap for success, but you can use this plan to approach investors, to get grants, to get loans, business funding. It's an amazing tool. And I highly, highly recommend it because I have seen in my own businesses, when I didn't have a plan, I failed very quickly. When I had a plan, wow, I am thriving. So I could tell you business planning works and you should really consider it. Now, if it's not a business plan, say you're well underway, you have like five, eight years under your belt and you're now ready to launch some, a new product or service, Planning is perfect for this type of situation. Why is that? Because it gives you the opportunity again to really um, clarify what it is about this new product or service that is going to complement. How is it going to complement your business? How is it going to um, expand your reach, expand your market? These are the things that you should clarify as another plan, sort of like an addendum to your original plan. Now, what happens if you don't even have a plan, you're not setting out new product or service, and you're actually following a model? You know, there's lots of amazing models out there where they basically give you the plan. Well, that's perfect. You already have a sound strategy that you could follow that is supporting you in your success. And these systems are tried and true. Many people have gone through them and have had success. So that could act as your mini plan. However, I do encourage you to really think about, um, okay, here's my system. Now, how does that system really work for your product or service? And that's the piece that you really wanna get clear on, really clarifying um, how this system will support the marketing sales and processes that you have identified for your business. And the other thing I would encourage you to consider is starting to think about a financial model around that system or new product or service. Just because the business plan looks at financial pro formas in like this major all in kind of look or view, you could do pro formas or financial projections based on a singular product or service and an, a system, a model that you're following. And that, having that bit of information, again, it gives you the confidence and it gives you, you know, the wherewithal to, to stand in your power when you're offering your product and service, which is super important. So I love business planning. I offer this service through my consulting company. If you ever need support in your business plan or if you have questions, please feel free to reach out to me. I am here to serve. Thank you so much, so much for watching another episode of Badass Business Builders with your host, Joella Ordorino. I'll see you again on the next one. Have a great day.